Good morning, geeks. Welcome back to my channel. My bed, all messy. Just woke up. Maka pia pia in the eyes. <laughs> Let's take a look at what outside has for us. Oh, there's a beautiful day today in the neighborhood. <laughs> How awesome. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? It is actually 8 o'clock in the morning. And I woke up about 7.30 lying in bed. Figure maybe I should go downstairs and get some breakfast. And take you all along with me to show exactly how that is done. So, let's go downstairs and get some breakfast. breakfast from downstairs <laughs> uh, Kashi trail mix chewy granola bar this Belgian waffle with pro sugar on it sometimes they have packets of syrup down there sometimes they don't orange and apple juice comes in very small cans of course Chobani blueberry and coffee this is the breakfast they serve here it's a grab and go I no Portuguese sausage eggs and rice anymore <laughs> Dorothy this is not Kansas so I'm gonna spruce it up a little let's try and add to make this look a little bit better ta-da <laughs> I added water, grapes, and of course more coffee. So this will be my breakfast for the morning. I usually do some type of work when I'm eating breakfast. But right now, it's 8 o'clock. So I'm getting better with the time zone here. And here is our waffle. Mmm. <laughs> yesterday was my first full day training and it was very very boring the training wasn't boring I think it was because the hotel was like a 30% occupancy so it was very slow hmm times are changing guys oh my goodness The way we do business is going to impact everybody, everyone. How interesting that the governor of Utah put Provo back into orange, which they were previously in the yellow and almost to green. But because there was a huge hike in COVID cases due to some BYU kids gathering and not taking this COVID seriously, there was a massive spread. So here I am, smack dab in the middle of that massive spread, and I need to be very cautious about how I conduct myself when I'm out in public. So yeah, I wipe and wipe and sanitize and sanitize. And I, taking this to work with me today, it's a huge bag of sanitized wipes. And I'm wiping everything down. I may even wipe my coworkers down. But yeah, it's pretty scary. It's scary coming up to somewhere that is in the thousands, not like severely in the thousands, but 
that has significantly more COVID cases than where I came from. But I just have to be careful. Be very, very careful how I conduct myself and I'll probably be good. So anyhow, that's life right now. Hello, hello. <laughs> So it is about noon here and I am slowly getting ready for work because I work at 2.30. I am showing you how someone who actually lives in a hotel makes lunch for themselves to go to work at another hotel. <laughs> but let me show you how I'm doing my, my lunches because you have to be creative. It's not like they have um, topware or anything that you can put your stuff in and even a little lunch bag. The Rosses here is clearing out. They are making room for all of their holiday stuff coming in. So when I went into Rosses the other day, basically the whole entire store was almost empty. I was like even got what I got. So just showing you what we have. And it was funny because I was looking for something to put my lunch in, right? Other than just my bag. So I'll show you. I got this, right? I bought it to give to family, friends, or as a thank you gift, yeah, to people that I come into contact with. And I had two of them. I'm using one of them as my lunch bag. This is my lunch bag. <laughs> so let's see. Hold on. I'll show you what's going on. This is a cup that comes here with the with the hotel okay and at the breakfasts they have these utensil packets i take a few for me because i need to use them and that's gonna go in my lunch bag okay and i'll take some of these right Some of these grapes I'll take and I'll put them in this little cup because this is actually good ways, good, a good way to portion if you're trying to portion yourself. Perfect. This is perfect. So I'm going to go and rinse it out. Covered up with the plastic bag that it came in. And this will go in here. So that way it is ready to eat when I go to lunch, right? And in addition to that, I take one of these organic bean rice cheese burritos as well. And I put it in there. And I'm going to take one of these granola bars, one of these granola bars with me, right, for later in the evening in case I need to get some sugar in my body because it depends when I do eat lunch, right. And I got this to put in there, right, and I'm going to put this in there as well. Right, but I'm gonna take out all the air, <laughs> open it just a tad, take out all the air, and squish it in here. Not squish it, but like close it up. And there it is. My lunch for today. Bean and cheese burrito, some grapes, chips, and then I have a granola bar for later. 
so this is my lunch for today and then I have all this leftover grapes that I usually eat when I come home just a few to snack on or in the mornings I add it to my breakfast because of course you saw what my breakfast is like here at the hotel no Portuguese sausage eggs and rice there now I have to show you guys here too this is my little snack section you know this is it this is all I have here <laughs> my little snack section besides the grapes and of course the fruit that I have inside there in the ice box but when I'm sitting here and doing work I have my little my little snack section so I can see my babies and sit here do work you know stuff I needed to do for being here and home there I forgot to add that I'm actually gonna put this small little apple juice in my lunch bag as well because towards the end of the night if my blood sugar goes down because I am diabetic I'll drink this gives me right back up to blood sugar levels and then I'll be okay right so let's see today is my official today is my fifth day here okay my third day going to work my second day of training and what have I done so far in my five days here I have gotten the keys to the new place <laughs> so in the condo we are renting it's a three bedroom two bath 1300 square foot so it's pretty big it's like a house it's on the third floor which I love because it's higher to me it feels safer um, you know have people trying to break in your house it's a newer model of a home uh, and it's in a great place in a place that I took a look at and I think I like it so we got the place we got the keys for it and I'm gonna go and show you guys a empty house tour sometime this week I have hooked up the gas and the electric which is going to be put on by Monday uh, in our rent we have cable Wi-Fi trash pickup sewer and the HOA fees which includes the clubhouse the workout room and the pool so I think we've got a great deal a really really great deal and we are in one of the best school districts in Utah so I think that's what I like the best is because we're in the best school district of the state also my car will be going on the barge so I'll be seeing my car soon it can't come any sooner let me tell you I need it here we've got Kit Ua being transferred from his school now and going into another school here in Utah I can't wait for that to happen uh, we also have um, the whole process of us vacating our house in Hawaii that is also taking place so my husband and my mom are, are back there in Hawaii and they're packing up the house and getting it ready for inspection so the the property manager can come and inspect it so we can actually leave the island without any problem um, what else do we have going on there's a lot a lot going on here oh yes and of course big 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 mahalo to my friends Laura and Kelly Optograph for putting me up in this hotel while I am getting situated and finding a place to stay this place is actually really awesome I like it I like it a lot the close proximity of my job the close proximity of everything I need to get I just walk to it and then of course I do a uh, DoorDash well I've only done it twice but it's actually really convenient because they come to the rooms here some hotels won't even allow you to go to the room so you have to sit in the lobby and wait and then the guests will come down to pick up their things and also um, I like to also give a shout out and mahalo to Nell she is going to be bringing in some furniture for us that's going to give us a huge start in our new place so we got some furniture and dishes and uh, sheets and bath towels so all of these things are going to help us tremendously and I thank you all very much for your help uh, this is so great for us it's going to give us a great 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 start here um, in Utah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish getting ready to put my mask on get out to work this is actually my stay home shirt so I'm not even in my work clothes yet but I will definitely keep you in touch on day two 
of training and working okay i'll talk to you guys later now i'm ready to go to work <laughs> i have one of the tops that i got from ross's on fits nicely feels good just wanted to mention yesterday that two local boys came to me and introduced themselves and they said i heard there was a local girl working here from hawaii we just wanted to come and introduce ourselves one of them used, uh, came from kahuku and the other one came from Aia. and one of them's a security guard and the other one is director of food and beverage at the hotel i work at so it is true locals they find each other and they try to make a connection. That's like a local pastime. It's so true. When you see someone from Hawaii, try to find a commonality with them, you know? What school you went to? What school you graduated? Where you from? Oh, my cousin guys live around there and la 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 la. And it's so funny. We can just talk for like hours just trying to find that commonality. And then in those hours, you go off on these other tangents of stories and such. But it didn't happen yesterday with the two guys. But I did want to say how special that is. That no matter where we go as locals of Hawaii, we always find each other and we always welcome each other. And we're always excited to see one another working outside of Hawaii. And that is what made my day yesterday for sure was those boys coming up and introducing themselves to me i loved it I totally loved it <laughs> so i am off to work of course no lipstick and of course no foundation either because with the mask over your face it's kind of like doesn't even matter <laughs> as long as your eyes are good because your eyes does all the talking <laughs> all right guys i'll see you later have a good day <laughs>